Good morning students, welcome to this video session. I remain Samuel Chupu Emeka, aka Sandon for Peace. In this video session, we are going to solve uh, questions on balancing chemical equations from Wayek and Jam. So, uh, some of you might ask me, okay, what are Wayek and Jam? Okay. So, Wayek and Jam uh, are the qualifying exams to get admission to. They are standardized exams to get admission into universities in Nigeria. Uh, so you might say, okay, would this be beneficial to me uh, if I am not taking Wayek and Jam? Uh, and I will say yes. If you are a student learning chemistry, uh, these are chemistry questions. Okay, they are chemistry questions. The only thing is that they are questions from Wayek and Jam that we are going to solve and this is just part one of it. Uh, we are going to have several parts which are focus on those questions. So but if you are a student learning chemistry regardless this question is these questions are beneficial to you. Please before you begin this video go and view the videos I did on Balancing chemical equations by inspection method and balancing chemical equations by algebraic method. After you view those two videos, this will now be easy for you to follow along. Some of you already have idea of balancing chemical equations anyway, but you really want to know how the Wayek and Jam questions are solved. Well, you can begin from here right away if you have an idea of what I'm talking about. But if you don't have an idea on how to do it, it is important that you view those two videos I did first. Then you can follow along here. And like I said earlier, these are not only for Nigerian students, no. But it will be most beneficial to Nigerian students because the questions we are going to solve are specifically from the exams they take. So it will be most beneficial to them. But it will still be beneficial to any student learning chemistry. Okay? So let's begin. Uh, we have the first question here. No, number one, we have. Manganese 4 oxide solid form plus X hydrochloric acid in aqueous form to give manganese chloride. Okay, manganese 2 chloride in aqueous, in aqueous form plus water in liquid form plus Chlorine gas plus chlorine gas. You are asked to find X, Y, Z. And this is Jam 2007. You were asked to find X, Y, Z. Find X. Find X, Y, and Z. Uh, we are going for the questions. We would not. We don't need a calculator. We don't. So, if you, if you know how algebraic method works, this will be easy for you, okay? Uh, that is why I said you should need to view the video, Balancing Chemical Equations by Algebraic Method. Yeah, this will not be a problem at all. So, let us list the, react the elements of the reactants. We have manganese, we have uh, oxygen, we have hydrogen, and we have chlorine. And in this same order, this same order, we write it here in the product. This same order, we list it here in the product. So manganese here is 1, oxygen is 2, hydrogen is X. Hydrogen is X and chlorine is X. Okay? 
Yeah, manganese is one. Oxygen. Oxygen here is Y. Okay, you see that? It's Y. Uh, hydrogen is 2Y. 2Y. And then chlorine. Chlorine, you can see from here, chlorine is 2 plus. And chlorine here is 2Z. 2Z. You see that? You want to be careful when you list this. To make sure you don't skip anything. You really want to be careful. Okay? So we can now equate them right away. So 1 is equal to 1. It is balanced. 2 is equal to Y. So we see 2 is equal to Y. So our Y is 2. Our Y is 2 right away. Then X is 2Y. So X is 2Y. So X is 2 times 2. And X is 4. Okay? And then our X is 2 plus 2Z. X is 2 plus 2Z. So that means that 2Z is X minus 2. Okay? Algebra. <laughs> okay? So this means, if, if you don't want me to skip that step, I will write 2 plus 2Z is X. So 2z is x minus 2 and z is what? x minus 2 over 2 which is a 4 minus 2 over 2, 2 over 2 which is 1. z is 1. See that? So x, y, z, x, y, z would be uh, 4, 2, 1. And that's the answer. Okay? Question 2. And if you need to pause this and play it back, that's fine. Uh, but I think, let me divide this so I can use both sides. Yeah, if you need to pause it anytime, to play it back, that's fine. Question two. So, any one I do, I cross it off. We have a couple of questions from Wayek. We are just going to do both, why I can jam, okay? Uh, here we have CXHY, that is a hydrocarbon, we don't know, plus oxygen, combustion of a hydrocarbon to give carbon 4 oxide and water. And water. Okay? Combustion of a hydrocarbon to give carbon four oxide and water. Find what is what is the hydrocarbon. What is the hydrocarbon? Okay? So we list the elements of the reactant carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. In the same order, you list the elements of the product. In the same order. So, see here is X. Hydrogen is Y. Oxygen is X. C here is 3. Okay. Hydrogen is 4. 2 times 2, 4. And then oxygen. Oxygen is 2 times 3, 6. Plus. Two here because this is like oxygen one. If you want to put O1, that's fine. One times two, two. If you want to do that, okay. So oxygen is uh, six plus two, and that gives us eight. So as you can see from here, as you can see from here, oxygen is balanced already, 
and our x is 3 and our y is 4. So our hydrocarbon is C3H4 and that is a propyne. 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 Now, how do I know it's propyne? Remember, alkynes, alkynes, okay, alkynes have CNH2N minus 2, right? Okay, for alkynes. And with 3, carbon is prop, prop, okay, propyne. Okay? Does that make sense? Uh, question 3 We have Similar one that looks like it We have C2H2 Let me cross off this Any one I do, I cross it off Okay we have C2H2 uh, plus YH2, this is a hydrocarbon, to give you C2H6. Now, this is um, we are asked to find Y. What is the value of Y? What is Y? Okay? So we have ethane, ethane, okay? You have this as ethane. Remember alkanes, alkanes have CNH2N plus 2, okay? That is alkanes. So ethane, you have a 2 times 2, 4 plus 2, 6. So this is ethane. And this is a time. Okay, 2 times 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. A time. Okay, when you, when you, uh, the, the reaction of hydrogen and a time gives you a 10. And you're just asked to find why. I mean, you're just asked to find why. Okay, so, uh, like I said, this is alkynes, alkynes, and this is alkanes, alkanes, okay? So, uh, what is Y from here? I mean, you still, the same principle, CH, CH. Same principle here. We list the elements of the reactant and in the same order, the same order we list the elements of the product. So this is 2, C is 2, and H is 2 plus 2Y. Two 2 plus 2Y. Two okay, because this is the 2 here, and here is 2 times Y, 2Y. Two and here C is 2, and H is 6. So we C is balanced, no problem. We just equate the hydrogen. So 2 plus 2y is 6. 2y is 6 minus 2 is 4. And then y is 2. Y is 2, that's it. Okay? Question 4. So, I cross this out. Question 4 is from Wayek. We have... We have an alkanol here. XCH3OH. Okay. Methanol. This is methanol. Reacting with oxygen to give... Uh, carbon 4 oxide and 
water Z H2O and you were asked to find X Y Z find X Y Z find X Y Z okay methanol the the combustion of methanol to give you carbon four oxide and water okay so uh, and methanol is your uh, methylated spirit okay yeah it's the methylated spirit all right so we have to do the same way okay we list the elements of the reactants C H O and the same order we list the elements of the product C H O you see once you get the principle any question like this in Wayek or Jam, you should be able to knock it off right away. I mean, you will see, we, are, we, are, we will solve varieties, varieties, but it's the same principle, the same, the same principle. Now, towards the last part of, towards the last questions, there is something I'm going to specifically point out, specifically point out, so that you don't get confused if they ask it. Yeah, because they've asked it about two or three times. <laughs> so, okay, so our C here is X. Our H is 3. Now we have H here, 3 plus 1, 4. Okay, we have 4 H here. And that's 4 times X is 4X. Okay, because we have 3 and this is like saying 1. So 3 plus 1, 4. 4 times X is 4X. Our O, we have we have X here plus O here is too wide. It's too wide. Okay. We come to the product. Our C is two here yeah? two because this is like saying C one, one times two two. Okay two. Our H is two Z. Two Z. And our O, 2 times 2 is 4, plus Z. See that? Okay? So, our X is 2. X is 2. Then 4X is 2Z. So, 4X is 2Z. So, that means that Z is 4X over 2. Z is 4x over 2, which is 2x. 2x, which is what? 2 times 2. 2 times 2, which is 4. Z is 4. Z is 4. I hope you know how to do linear equations. Because you must know how to do linear equations to do this. <laughs> so, I have a mathematics YouTube channel. Okay, Sam Dump for Peace. And Samuel Chukwemeka. You go and you see a lot of questions. Or you go to my website, samuelchukwemeka.com. You see a lot of my videos there. So, it's important you know how to solve linear equations. Okay. And then let's find out why. Okay. Uh, X plus 2Y, we can actually use it here. X plus 2Y will give us 4 plus Z. So 2y is 4 plus z minus x. Okay? And our y, our y is 4 plus z minus x over 2. Okay? 4 plus z minus x over 2. So which is, this means that our y is 4 plus uh, 4, z is 4 minus x is 2, all divided by 2. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which is 3. Okay? So x, y, z, x, y, z will give us 2, 3, 4. x, y, z will give us 2, 3, 4 as an answer. 2, 3, 4. Okay? 
I shake that off. Next one, question five. I have a potassium tetraoxo manganate 7, potassium permanganate, and this is from Waye. X potassium permanganate. Okay, in aqueous form, will react with sulfur 4 oxide. Sulfur 4 oxide. In gaseous form, to give up. And also water. I am using I am using IUPAC nomenclature. Okay, IUPAC nomenclature. So in Nigeria we are required to in Nigeria we are required to use IUPAC nomenclature. But for those that are not Nigerians, I will also call the old names. Okay. So this is a potassium permanganate. That's the old name. <laughs> potassium permanganate. Okay. And the IUPAC name is potassium tetraoxo. Tetra is for tetraoxo manganate 7. So manganate 7, when I do when we do redox reactions, then you know why the the, the oxidation number is 7 for manganese here. Okay, when we do redox reactions. So uh, Potassium tetraoxo manganate 7 reacting with sulfur 4 oxide plus water. I will need more space, so let me let me minimize this space. Let me run it again. Potassium tetraoxo manganate 7 will react with Y moles. Y moles of sulfur 4 oxide and Z moles of water, Z moles of water, and I will teach stoichiometry. We'll solve a lot of questions. Okay. We'll give us one mole of potassium, one mole of potassium sulfate. Potassium sulfate is the old name, but you can say potassium tetraoxo sulfate 6. 2x plus x minus 2, 2 plus x minus 8. Yeah, potassium tetraoxo sulfate 6, are you back name? Or potassium sulfate, old name. Plus man 2 moles of manganese sulfate, manganese sulfate, and 2 moles of sulfuric acid, tetraoxo sulfate 6 acid, tetraoxo sulfate 6. This is aqueous. Okay, aqueous, 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 and this is liquid and this is gas. This is aqueous. In aqueous form, X moles of potassium tetraoxo manganate 7 will combine with Y moles of sulfur 4 oxide and Z moles of water to form. One mole of, of potassium sulfate, potassium tetraoxo sulfate 6, and plus two moles of manganese, uh, manganese sulfate, and two moles of sulfuric acid, two moles of tetraoxo sulfate 6 acid. Okay? So, uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? We still use the same principle. Okay? K, potassium, manganese, oxygen, sulfur, and then hydrogen. I am doing it in order that I see them. I list it in order that I see them. In the order I see them. Potassium, manganese, oxygen, sulfur, and then hydrogen. And then that same order, you don't need to list things twice, no. That same order, I list it in the product. So I have potassium, manganese, oxygen, 
sulfur hydrogen. So potassium here is X. X. Manganese is X. Oxygen is here is 4 times X. 4X plus plus oxygen here is 2 times Y. 2Y plus oxygen here is like 1. 1 times Z. Z. Okay, you see that? So form is only here. One times Y. Y. So far is just Y. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is only here. Two times Z. Two Z. Two Z. Okay? We are done with the reactants. We move on to the products. Potassium here is two times one, two. Because this is like saying one. So two times one, two. Okay, one more. Manganese is one times two, two. Like this is like saying one times two, two. So manganese is two. Uh, oxygen is four here plus oxygen here is four times two, eight. Eight plus oxygen here is four times two, eight. Okay? And that gives us what? Uh, 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 8 is 20. 20. So for, so for here is 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, so for here is 1 times 2, 2. Plus, so for here is 1 times 2, 2. Okay? So that is because this is anywhere you see S, it's like saying S1. Okay? And if you see, if you don't see anything here, one mole, it's like saying one, two times one, two. Okay? So one plus two is three, plus two is five. Alright? Now hydrogen. Hydrogen is not here, not here. Hydrogen here is two times two, and that is four. Okay? Hydrogen is four. So let's get the rest of it. Let's get it. X is 2, right? You see from here, X is 2. Also, X is 2. I mean, X is 2. Right away. Okay? Then, uh, Y is 5 from sulfur. From sulfur, you can see that Y is 5 right away. Y is 5 right away. And then, because you don't need to look into everything. Remember, you are working with time. You are working with time. You are timed. So anything that you can do to just do it accurately and timely. Accurately, but timely. That's the thing. 2z is 4, so z is 2. Okay, 2z is 4, z is what? 2. And that's it. Z is 2. And if you want to check, if you want to check it with O, you don't need to check it with O, but if you want to check it with O, if you want to check it with O, you can see that 4 times 2, 8, plus 2 times 5, 10. 8 plus 10, 18, plus 2 is still 20. It will work out. If you want to check it with that, it still works out. Okay? So XYZ is 2, 5, 2. So XYZ is 2, 5, 2. And that's it. Question 6. So I knock it off. You have a and um, you have a carbon, a hydrocarbon. You have a hydrocarbon CaHP, one mole of the hydrocarbon, combining with five moles combustion of hydrocarbon to give you carbon four oxide and water. 
5 moles of oxygen to give you 3 moles of carbon dioxide and 4 moles of water 4 moles of water okay 4 moles of steam steam okay because that's a gaseous reaction 4 moles of steam uh, water in gaseous form these are gases okay these are gases 4 moles of steam steam water vapor water vapor that's your steam okay now uh, what is find the hydrocarbon that is what the question is find the hydrocarbon so the same way this is the elements of the reactants carbon hydrogen oxygen and in the same order put it in the product this is the elements of the product all right carbon is a hydrogen is b oxygen is 10 five times two two times five ten and here carbon is one times three three uh, hydrogen is two times four eight and oxygen will be two times three six plus one one times four four which is ten okay oh one you can put one, one times four but you don't put it but it's one times four so oxygen is balanced so you could see here that our hydrocarbon is c3ha and what is this this is propane propane gas propane propane Remember that alkanes, because 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Remember that alkanes have a general formula of CnH2n plus 2. Okay? So this is your propane gas. And for, you know, for those of you, I mean, many of you know what propane is, but maybe you don't know the formula. This is the formula here. <laughs> Okay, question seven. I cross this off. Actually, this one also I crossed off. And let me see how many questions are remaining. Okay, question seven. Write a balanced reaction. Write it, it just says like it's, uh, it didn't give you the reaction, it wants you to write it. Okay? Write a balanced reaction. Write a balanced reaction. Uh, between tetraoxo sulfate 6 acid with aluminum hydroxide and in America they say aluminum Nigeria say aluminum aluminum so I'm gonna say it Nigerian way aluminum in America I mean aluminum it's alu aluminum it's what I'm calling aluminum <laughs> Write a balanced reaction between between tetraoxosulfate 6 acid and this is sulfuric acid. Tetraoxosulfate 6 acid with aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide. To give it, give, it gave you the product as well. To give water, to give water and aluminium tetraoxosulfate 6. Tetraoxosulfate 6. In a, this is the IU part name. In a old name, you say aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. 
that's the old name. Uh, but our impact name is aluminium tetra oxosulfate 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we know the valency of aluminium, uh, which is 3, and we know that the, the tetra, you know that the valency of aluminium is 3. And then tetra also surface 6, the sulfate ion, that's the radical, okay, is uh, uh, 2, okay, the radical is 2. So the valency is 2. So when it combines, when it combines, okay, uh, you have, and if you want me to, uh, you know, let alone if you want me, to, I can do a video on showing how to write, if they say any compound, you can write the formula for it. Okay, you can like write the molecular formula for it. The molecular formula for it. So this is aluminium 2 sulfate 3. So this is what it will be here. Okay, by valency. Valency is combining power of an element. The valency of an element. So, valency of aluminum is 3. Valency of the sulfate ion, tetraoxo surface 6 ion, is 2. When it combines, it gives you this. This is the formula for aluminum tetraoxo surface 6. That's the formula here. Then, aluminum hydroxide. Uh, aluminum and hydroxide. Uh, valency of aluminum is 3. Valency of the hydroxide ion is 1. Because it's OH minus, okay, it's a radical, it's minus, okay, one. So in in the oxidation redox oxidation number computation, we use negative one. But uh, uh, here to combine to react, aluminum will be will go with this and hydroxide ion will go here. So this is aluminum 1, hydroxide ion 3. Okay, it's a radical, so you don't separate them. It's radical. And this means here, this means that this 3 is for sulfur and the 3 is for oxygen. And here, the 3 is for oxygen, the 3 is for hydrogen. That is what it means. And then the sulfuric acid, Sulfuric acid, most of you know sulfuric acid, old name. Uh, IUPAC name is uh, tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. So you have hydrogen and sulfur, uh, and, the, and the sulfate. The sulfate is 2 and the hydrogen is 1. The sulfate is, valency of hydrogen is 1, and the valency of the radical, this uh, tetraoxosulfate 6 ion is 2. So this combines here in the combination, in the bonding, this will be H2SO4. SO4 all 1. Okay? SO4 all 1. But I mean the 1, what is the need? So this is H2SO4. The tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. Alright. So, water, of course. <laughs> water, you know about water, right? H and O, hydrogen and oxygen. Valency of hydrogen is 1, valency of oxygen is 2. So, this combines here, this combines here, this is H2O. Water, to give water. Okay. Alright, we can now write a balanced reaction. Because the, the first step you need to do is to, is to know these elements. That is the first step you need to do to know these elements. Okay? Once you know the elements, then no problem. Alright. Uh, we can now write a balanced equation for it. Okay, so we have tetraoxosulfate 6 acid, and this is an acid to react with aluminium hydroxide, a base, a base to give 
a salt, aluminum sulfate, aluminum tetraoxide sulfate 6, that is a salt, and water, and water. So you have acid and base to give salt and water. What do we call this reaction? Acid and base to give salt and water only. We call it what? Neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. So take note of that. Take note of that. Neutralization reaction. The reaction between an acid and a base to give salt and water only. Neutralization reaction. Okay, so let's balance this. Uh, let me give you an advice. Uh, if you want to do this inspection method, that is up to you. But whenever you have a radical, okay, I prefer using algebraic. I mean, if you want to do inspection method, that's fine. With you. That's fine. But I will prefer to balance this algebraic method. <coughs> that is my preference. You can balance it any way you want to. Uh, you can balance it by inspection, but uh, I prefer using algebraic method. Okay, but you can use inspection, no problem. Uh, so well, I have done video on algebraic method, so we are going to use that principle. Okay, we are going to use that principle to balance it. In algebraic method, we say that you put variables in the reactants. Let me put a, a M M okay and in the products you put variables in all of them except one product. So in this case we have two products. Okay and what I'm using is algebraic method. I'm using algebraic method to balance. I've done a video on it so you can view it. To balance it. To balance it. So that is the principle. You put variables in all the reactants and you put variables in all the products except one product. So in this case we have two products. So we will put a, we will put a variable in only one. So I'm gonna put P here, P, and then I leave this. Okay? So I will now list this H, I have S, I have O, I have aluminum, AL, okay, and I put that back here in the product. Hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and aluminum. Alright, so hydrogen here is 2M, 2M plus Hydrogen here, now be careful, be careful here, this still means that O, the 3 is for O, as well as the H, that is what it means. So, the H is 3 here, 3 times N, 3N, 2N plus 3N. So for here is 1 times N, N. Okay, there's no sulfur here. Now, oxygen is 4 times M. 4M plus oxygen is 3. This 3 also belongs to oxygen. 3 times M, 3N. 4M plus 3N. Aluminium is 1. 1 times N is N. Okay? Come here. Hydrogen is 1. What? This is 1 mole of water. So 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? 2 times 1, 2. Uh, sulfur, this 3 is for oxygen and also for sulfur. So uh, uh, three, sulfur is 3. 3 times P is 3P. 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 Oxygen here 
is four this three is also for oxygen. So this is like listing oxygen three times uh, three times. O4, O4, O4. O4, O4, O4. Four, four, four. Four plus four plus four. Which is four times three, twelve. Let's do four times three, twelve. Okay, this is like saying O4 listed three times. O4, O4, O4. So basically saying four times three, twelve. Twelve times P is twelve P, twelve P plus one. And you know you can do inspection method if you want to. Okay, sometimes inspection method is easier. But there are some chemical equations that if you spend your time doing an inspection method, you will work it for hours. Let me not, well, let me not say hours. You see how that is where algebraic method is really, really nice. Because with algebraic method, provided you list it well, and you know algebra, you know your linear, just linear equations, knowing how to solve linear equations. Makes it easy, trust me, makes it easy. So this is 12p plus 1. Aluminium is 2 times p is 2p. 2p. Okay. Now, let's now solve the problem. And we now have to find, have to solve for, uh, we now have to solve for the variables. So let me go ahead and let's do it here. Um, we see that M is 3P, that is from sulfur, from sulfur M is 3P, and from aluminium M is 2P, M is 2P from aluminium, okay? Now, we also see from hydrogen, from hydrogen, this is from, if you want me to, this is from sulfur, M is 3P and from aluminium and uh, aluminium uh, uh, N is 2P. Now, but from hydrogen, from hydrogen, we see that 2M plus 3N is equal to 2. This is from hydrogen. So we just substitute. Let's just substitute. So we can find our P right away. So just substitute. This is 2 times 3P plus 3 times 2p equals to 2 so 6p plus 6p is 2 12p is 2 so p is 2 over 12 p is 1 over 6 ok fraction no problem is fraction no problem 1 over 6 ok then M will be 3P, 3P, so M is 3 times 1 over 6, so M is 3 over 6, M is 1 over 2, or let's put it as 3 over 6, okay, let's have it as 3 over 6, let's see if we can put everything in over 6, okay, M is, actually let's, let's, yeah, let's simplify it, no problem, let's do it 1 over 2, no problem. Okay, we shall still take the LCD and multiply it by the LCD. So that's fine. N is 1 over 2. N is 2P. 2P. N is 2 times 1 over 6. N is 2 over 6. N is 1 over 3. Okay, showing all my work. N is 1 over 3. And then M, N, P. And that's it. That's it. M and P. Okay, so now we now write this again. Let us write it again. Okay, let's write let's write this again. Uh, M is 1 over 2 1 over 2 Let me write this here because I really want you to to see how I'm going to break this up. P is 1 over 6, M is 1 over 2, 
and n is 1 over 3. LCD, LCD is what? 6. LCD is 6. Just take note of that. We shall use the LCD. Okay, LCD is 6. So now, let's come back and rewrite this. We come back here and we write this. This is now 1 over 2 H2SO4 plus 1 over 3 aluminum hydroxide to give 1 over 6 aluminum tetraoxo sulfate 6 plus 1 bowl of water. LCD is 6. Multiply everybody by the LCD. Okay, LCD is 6. Because you don't want fractions, no. You don't want fractions. Multiply everybody by the LCD. Multiply all times. Multiply both the reactants and the products by 6. Both the reactants and the products. by 6. Okay? So this will be 6 times 1 over 2 H2SO4 plus I'm going to put it like this. 6 times 1 over 3 aluminium hydroxide to give because you know you, you don't want fractions so you multiply by the LCD. And you're multiplying everybody, so you're good. 6 times 1 over 6, aluminium tetraoxide sulfate 6, aluminium sulfate, plus 6 times 1, because this means 1. Okay, this means 1. Water. Okay, so we now have that this will be 2 in, into 2 is 1, 2 into 6 is 3. 3 moles of tetraoxosulfate 6 acid will combine with 2 moles of aluminium hydroxide to give us 1 mole of aluminium tetraoxosulfate 6 and 6 moles of water. And this becomes our answer here. That's it. Algebraic method. Okay. Okay, this one is done. Uh, I have another one. I have about four more. So question eight. This was question seven. So question eight. Question eight. Aluminium hydroxide. And this question came out again. I see that this question was asked again. This question was asked again here. You see the question we just did now? Okay, the question we just did now. I, I, I see that this question was exactly asked again. Let me show you. Question 8. They repeated that question, but look at the way they now put it. You see, they repeat questions. They, they do. Now, here they say W moles of tetraoxosulfate 6 acid will react with X moles of aluminium hydroxide. This is, an, this is another year, though. Another year, they asked it. To give you Y moles of water and Z moles of aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. Z moles of aluminium sulfate. And they said the respective values of W, X, Y, and Z are the respective values of W, X, 
y and z are okay let me say this let me say this if i think they asked this question in jam this was in y this one is y and this one is jam okay let me say this i think so because i'm i'm combining both of them anyway now if they ask you this question like this and they give you w x y z no problem you can because they asked it this way they want you to just balance it they want you to do what balance it that's what they want they just want you to balance this question balance the reaction so you can you can use algebraic method like we just did you can you can and if you look at what we did if if you look at what we just did here uh, from here you see that our uh, w our w is 3 our x is 2 our y water y is 6 and then our z is uh, our z is uh, 1 so w x y z would be 3 2 6 1 you can do that if they give you all the variables all of them w x y z all of them you can use algebraic method we just did to balance it no problem but i might not want you to do that or I can show you another way to solve this same problem. I can show you another way to solve this same question. And that is a way I would really want you to do it. A way I prefer you to do it. To do it as they gave it to you. Algebraic method is correct if you follow the principle. And that was the principle we followed. This is the right answer. But if Jam or Wayek gives you the values and say yes, they want you to do it like they gave it to you, I encourage you to do it that way. So we are going to solve this question that way. We will solve that, we will solve this same question the way that they gave it to us. We can still do it. We will do it. Okay, so let's do it. So uh, we will list this hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, aluminum. Here, hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and aluminum. Okay? And like I said, because they gave, they told you to find each one. It doesn't matter. That means they are just asking. Because they gave you variables to find all the variables, that means they are just asking you to balance it. So go ahead and balance it. Even You can even balance it with inspection method. Because I see that the numbers are not, uh, are not that much. 3, 2, and 6. You can easily find it. If it was something like 17, 5, 7, as the most, sometimes it's, you know, just, there are some equations that doing it inspection method is, is war <laughs> and I don't like war you know I am some down for peace so uh, uh, that's why algebraic method is good if you ask me you know especially for something like some things with radicals okay so when they give you these variables like it is to find all of them go ahead and balance it and then you can find the answer right away. Just balance it. That's what they're asking. And then put in the moles. You put in the moles of the respective values. Okay? You can do that. But I also want to do it with what they gave me. No problem. You know, this is mathematics. Mathematics, no problem. So hydrogen here will be 2W. 2W plus... And uh, here, hydrogen is 3, 3x, 
2w plus 3x. So for here will be w. Okay? One times, one times w, and that is w. Oxygen will be 4 times w, 4w plus 3x. And that is 3x. Aluminium will be 1 times x, x. See that? Okay? Then here, hydrogen is 2y, 2y, sulfur is 3z, 3 times z, 3z. Oxygen is 4 times 3, 12. Well, let's start from here first. Oxygen, 1 times y, y, plus 4 times 3, 12, 12 times z, 12z, 12z. And aluminum is 2 times z, 2z. Okay? Alright, so let's solve it. Let's solve it. So, let's, you know, let's kind of make it easier for us. From aluminum, we see that X is 2Z. From uh, sulfur, we see that W is 3Z. 3Z. Uh, since we have seen that this is in terms of Z, we can as well find in hydrogen, we can as well find y in terms of z. Because, we, you know, I think this question might be jammed. So you are test up. You are working on the time. You are working on the time. So you want to make things that you can do easily. Just put it in terms of z. So from hydrogen, we see here that 2w plus 3x is 2y. And I am teaching you this. I mean, I took jam and I passed it, okay? So, after, my first degree was in engineering from Futo. So, <laughs> I thank God. So, I've taken this. So, I'm just teaching you. But, you know how you, when you practice, I, I'm showing sure you know all my work so that you can understand it. But when you're solving, when you're practicing, hey, folks, don't try to show all your work. No, <laughs> you're under time, okay? So, so, uh, we can substitute this, 2 times, 2y is 2w plus 3x, so 2y is 2 times 3z plus 3 times 2z, 2y is 6z plus 6z, okay, 2y is 12z, so y is 6z, if you divide by 2. If you divide by if you divide both sides by two, why is six z? Okay, and we know this is four variables. This is four variables in four equations. Four variables in four equations. Now, but we have we. The bottom line now is if we could find Z, if we could find Z, we could now find X, W, and Y easily. Okay? Now, we have used aluminum, we've used sulfur, we've used hydrogen. So the only thing we can now use again is, the thing we can now use now is oxygen. But then you look at oxygen, you see, from these equations, if they had given us one of them to be a number, a number like 5 or 2 or 3, it would be easier for us to find the variable. If we use oxygen, 
we will still be saying the same thing. 4W plus 3X equals Y plus 12Z. These are all variables. So we will still be saying the same thing, even if we substitute all these for Z. We substitute X for 2Z, substitute W for 3Z, substitute Y for 6Z. We will be saying the same thing. We will eventually come out as Z is equal to Z. Okay, we will eventually come out that like this will be 6z plus 12z, 18z will be equal to 18z. 18z equal to 18z, how does it benefit us? We will eventually come out to that. If they had given us this, that maybe that this is maybe 4, then we could do something, then we could find z. But they didn't give us that, they did not. So this is not helping us. So when you now come over here and you see, hey, the only thing you need to use is oxygen and it's still variable, it will still give you that. Just say, let z be 1. Just do that. And if z is 1, x will now be 2 times 1, which is 2. w will now be 3 times 1, which is 3. And y will now be 6 times 1, which is 6. So w, x, y, z will still give 3, 2, 6, 1. That is it. That's how you do it. Okay? That is how you do it. Okay, question 9. Question 9. 9, 9. Okay, we knock this off. For 9 and 10, we will do it together. We're going to do 9 and 10 together. Let me make sure that. 9 and 10 together. It's important we do it together. 9 and 10. It's important we do it together. So, question 9. Okay. I have the... They like this question. They like this question. They like it. Okay. Uh, 9 and 10. We're going to do it together. So, I'm going to write 9 here. And I'll write 10 here. And then I will explain what I... There's something that you should really pay important attention to. So 9, they ask 9, they actually ask 9 two times, okay? And this is just part 1, like I just did some years. This is not all the years, no. Jam is from 1978 to 2016, I have not, so that's why I say part 1, because I'll still look for more and do, okay? Uh, so. But at least this one will give you that idea so that if it comes out in work or jam, you shouldn't have any question. You should solve it right. Okay. Now, nine, they've asked it twice. And look at the way they asked it. So the first time they said three moles of copper and P moles of nitric acid. Uh, this is Trioxonitrate 5 acid, very corrosive, nitric acid. 3 moles of copper and P moles of trioxonitrate 5 acid to give you 3 moles of copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. Okay? And 4 moles, let me actually. Move this up to here. Make a place. Four moles of water and X moles of nitrogen two oxide. Nitrogen monoxide. Okay. Uh, old name is nitrogen monoxide. 
IU Park name is nitrogen 2 oxide. That is 9. And then 10 is they asked you to they asked you to what is the 10? Look at the way they asked it. They say write the, and this is multiple choice. And that's multiple choice. I think it was multiple choice. So this I think is this might be jam. Okay? And uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice. They say write what is the balance reaction between what is the balance reaction? What is the balance reaction between copper? Between copper, you need to pay attention to this. Very, very, very important. Pay attention. And concentrated, concentrated. Try, try oxo nitrate five acid. And guess what? Guess what? One of the multiple choice was this. And another multiple choice, okay? One of the multiple, uh, I'm gonna give you, I'm, I, will, I will write it here, and then A, and then B. One of the multiple choice was this, uh, and the other multiple choice was this. Uh, copper plus nitric acid to give to give copper nitrate, copper trioxonitrate 5, and water, and nitrogen 4 oxide. Copper is solid, this is aqueous, this is aqueous, this is liquid, and this is gas. And here, copper, nitric acid, Triazonitrate 5 acid to give you copper nitrate and water and nitrogen 2 oxide liquid aqueous form aqueous form and solid copper. A B, what is the answer? Now and they balance, no problem, we are going to balance it. We will balance it. We are going to balance it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We will balance both of them. We will do that. And then, we will now explain this. We will, after balancing it, then we will... Uh, uh, actually, this one, in that multiple choice, they gave you... Uh, the balanced one uh, four here four moles four moles and then uh, two moles of water two moles two and you know what I can put I can use this chop four moles here two moles here two moles of liquid water and two moles of uh, and two moles of uh, nitrogen 4 oxide. Nitrogen 4 oxide is the IU pack name. Nitrogen dioxide is the code name. Okay? Nitrogen 4 oxide. And this is nitrogen 2 oxide or nitrogen monoxide. And in that one, the balanced one is 3 moles of copper. Uh, 8. 8 moles of triazonitrate 5 acid, uh, 3 moles of copper nitrate, copper triazonitrate 5, 4 moles of water, 
four moles of water and two moles of this, two moles. So, and this is multiple choice. And one year they ask this. We're, we're going to solve this now. We'll solve this. Five P and X. They asked it one year, and they asked another one like that in another year, and then this, and then in another year they asked this. They also gave C and D, but C and D is not my concern, though. C and D. C and D are not my concern. The one that will confuse students, the one that confuses students is between A and B. And most students might check A. But then there is something they underline the which I'm going to talk about. But first of all, let us first of all solve this. Let's solve this. In, they will ask this question one year. Find P and X. So let's solve it. So they gave us this. They say find P and X. Find P and X. So we list it copper, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. In the reactants here, products copper, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Okay. So copper is three here, hydrogen is P, uh, nitrogen is P, right, and oxygen is 3P. Copper here is one times three, three. Uh, hydrogen is, there's no hydrogen here. Hydrogen 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. This 2 belongs to nitrogen. So 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 times x. X. Then oxygen. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Okay. Because this is O3, 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 O3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Just say 3 times 2 is 6. Times 3 18. Plus, oxygen here is 1 times 4. 4. Plus, 1 times x. X. So this is 22 plus x. 22 plus x. Okay, so we can solve this now. P is 8. Okay. P is 8. From hydrogen. From hydrogen, P is 8. And then from nitrogen, P is 6 plus X. So 6 plus X is 8. So X is 8 minus 6. X is 2. That's it. So P is, P, X is 8, 2. Okay? P, X is 8, 2. That's it. Okay, and if you want to... If you want to check it in oxygen, that's fine. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24. And then 22 plus 2 is 24. I mean, if you want to check it. Okay? So it's 3, 8, 3, 4, 2. Okay. So they asked this one year. Okay. Another year they asked this again. So um, I will still write it as question 9. And this was what they wrote. Here they said find, find X, Y, Z. X moles of copper reacting with Y moles of trioxonitrate 5 acid to give X moles of copper trioxonitrate 5 and 4 moles of water and Z moles of nitrogen 2 oxide. You see, it is the same question which, like the one we just did. The only thing they changed is now, instead of P and X, they now say X, Y, Z. So it's the same method. But I want to say this. Let me say this. Okay? We are going to solve this as is from this. But let me just give you this advice for both Wayek and Jam. 
If they give you any equation and they put variables and they say that it's balanced already, go ahead, forget about those variables. Balance the equation either by inspection or by algebraic method, balance it and then cross check. Match it, compare it with the equation they gave you and then find the respective variables. So to save time. Okay? But let us still do it from what they gave us. So we have copper, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Copper, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Here copper is X, hydrogen is Y, nitrogen is Y, oxygen is 3Y. Here copper is X, hydrogen, there is no hydrogen here. Hydrogen 2 times 4 here is 8, 8. Nitrogen is 2 times x, 2x, plus 1 times z, z. Oxygen 3 times 2, 6, 6 times x, 6x, six plus 1 times 4, 4, plus 1 times z, z. Okay. x is equal to x. That's fine. Y is equal to 8 from hydrogen. Y is 8. Uh, y is also equal to uh, 2x plus z. And also 6x plus z is equal to 3y. Okay, so we are going to run into two equations. We shall run into two equations. And we solve it. First one, we have that y, 2x, y is 2x plus z. So 2x plus z is 8. Okay? Also, we can call this equation 1. Equation 1. Also, 3y is 6x plus 4 plus z. So 6x plus z is 3y minus 4. Okay, so 6x plus z is 3 times 8 minus 4. 6x plus z is 3 times 8 is 24. Minus 4 is 20. Call this equation 2. Equation 2. So I would prefer to use the elimination method. And I would prefer to use equation 2 first uh, on top. So I have 6x plus z is 20. This is equation 2. And then 2x plus z is 8. And I can subtract. I prefer equation 2 first so that, I, I mean, you can use equation 1. You know, it will still be the same thing. But I don't want to use, I don't want to use negatives. So, 6x minus 2x is 4x equal to uh, z minus z is gone. 20 minus 8 is what? 12. So, this implies that x is 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, x is 3. So, now I can find my z. I can use equation 1 to find my z. From equation 1, z will be 8 minus 2x. 8 minus 2x. So z will be 8 minus 2 times 3. So z is 8 minus 6 and z is 2. So xyz, xyz, xyz is, uh, is equal to 3, 8, 2. The same thing. 3, 8, 2. But what is my advice to you? When they give you, you see, this is the same question, but just different variables. This will take your time. Whenever they give you the equation, okay, forget about these variables. If they say it's balanced, for the balanced equation, this, find x, y, z. Okay, I'm just doing it to show you mathematics. 
you are working with time for Wayek and Jam. You're working with time. Just forget about the variables. Use inspection method or algebraic method. Balance it and then compare it, compare it with that and put in your answer and go your way. It will always work. Always work. Okay? But I'm just doing this to show you that you can still use what they gave you. You can still use what they gave you to get the answer. But that will take your time. So, the guy who wants to be fast and finish will just come immediately and balance the equation by inspection method or algebraic method. We've done both of them. And uh, find it and then compare it with this and just balance it. And compare it, after you balance it, compare it with what they gave you and find the respective values, period. Okay, so that is also, you know, with this one, let's now come to question 10, the multiple choice. But I believe you can balance this. You can use the inspection method, you can use the algebraic method. Okay, view the videos I did on both. And if you cannot balance it, just send me an email and then I can, you know, if, if it's something I have to do to balance it, you know, on my own, at my own convenience, I can do it for you, to balance it for you. Okay, then view those two videos first and then if you want to still use what they gave you, you can, but it will waste time. Just balance the equation first and then compare it with what they gave you. Compare it with what they gave you and then find the respective values of the variables and go your way. Okay, that is my advice to beat time. Now, question 10 is tricky. This is the question they asked. What is the balanced reaction between copper and concentrated trioxonitrate 5 acid? Okay. This is something you have to listen very well. So, uh, some of you might ask, okay, will copper even react with trioxonitrate 5 acid? Is copper supposed to react with it? So, because some of you might ask that question. Will copper even react with this? Okay, so and it's a good question if you ask it. Because if you look at the reactivity series, proper science, proper chemistry scientist, proper scientist chemistry, proper, proper chemistry scientist make a zoom. Uh, proper chemistry scientists, proper scientist chemistry, make a zoom in in so low in in so low in so in so too low humid countries more satisfactory yield. Okay, uh, later on I'll teach you reactivity series anyway. Uh, later on we can discuss this. Proper chemistry scientists, proper scientist chemistry. Anyway, later on we can discuss this. But look at this here. Copper cannot displace uh, hydrogen. So when you have copper, okay, copper cannot displace hydrogen in the uh, reactivity series. Okay, and don't worry about this. Don't worry about this list. Don't worry about this list. Okay, I just want to explain something. Later on, we can discuss this. What can react and what cannot. Copper cannot displace uh, hydrogen because it is below it. Okay. And you now have copper. If you look at copper nitric acid, it's, it's not supposed to react. Because copper cannot displace hydrogen. Okay, but when we do redox reactions, because this is now what we see as this is a redox reaction, reduction oxidation reaction. We will now discuss this further. We will discuss this further. But what I want you to note here, what I want you to note here, what I want you to note here is that.
copper weight, weight, dilute hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid, no reaction with copper, no reaction with copper, with copper. With dilute sulfuric acid, tetraoxysulfasic acid, no reaction with copper. No reaction with copper. But with concentrated, concentrated tetraoxysulfasic acid. It will be a redox reaction. Okay? Redox reaction. It will be a redox reaction. We are not looking at it essentially that copper is displacing hydrogen. But we are looking at it that it's going to be a reduction oxidation reaction, which I will treat later on. But I just want you to take note of this. Now, with dilute nitric acid, tetraoxus nitric 5 acid, okay, it will be redox reaction to produce redox reaction, redox reaction to produce nitrogen 2 oxide. To produce nitrogen 2 oxide. But with concentrated, concentrated nitric acid, triosonitric 5 acid, it will be redox reaction to produce nitrogen 4 oxide. Take note of this. So, the question say concentrated. And that is why A is not right. That is why B is right. To produce nitrogen for oxide. And in the multiple choice, they were balanced. The whole were balanced. But this was what they wanted me to know. And when we talk about redox reaction, we can talk about this. Okay? So, but, uh, just take note of this. And of course, this one will give you sulfur 4 oxide. Uh, redox reaction to produce sulfur 4 oxide. I mean, but the only thing they wanted you to know in that question is dilute and concentrated. If it, this, so, the one that produced, this is with dilute. Dilute triosonitrate 5 acid. This is with concentrated triosonitrate 5 acid. Okay? You know how tricky they ask questions. I mean, nobody sets an exam. I mean, Jam does not set an exam for you to pass. Wayek does not set an exam for you to pass. But we believe in God Almighty. And we, will, we say that with God Almighty on our side and the hard work we will succeed. Okay? So, just take note of that. So, watch out for part two. Watch out for other parts. If you have any question, feel free to contact me. Uh, this is my... Uh, my website is samuelchukwemeka.com samuelchukwemeka.com Okay? Samuel Chukwemeka.com And go to contact and contact me if you have any questions. But my videos are there, chemistry videos are there. Alright, I wish you the best in the upcoming jam 2017. Watch out for more videos and you have a great day.